Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a canned beer. A canned beer, I hear you cry. It is a can of Adnam's Ghost Ship. I've had plenty of bottled Ghost Ship. It's a very nice beer, but would you look at that? Now, you would be hard pressed to say, actually, I have a bottle here. You would be hard pressed to say the bottle looks better than the can. For me, the can looks better hands down. That shines on the supermarket shelf. And the reason why I'm talking about the can as I am, let's get it open, is because I put a picture of this on Facebook and I had a lot of reaction over 50 comments in a day some were good some were bad well, not bad but some were disagreeing I should say not bad there were some people who enjoy canned beer I'll rephrase it all some people that don't enjoy canned beer and some people who are not really sure let's talk about the beer first that looks exactly like ghost ship does as it comes from the bottle it's a one finger head it's nicely carbonated let's get my nose in there oh, wow 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 now That pungent grapefruit aroma is, and you're going to have to trust me on this, twice as punchy and powerful as the aroma that you get from bottled Adnam's Ghost Ship. That is phenomenal full of punchy American hops. I've got to get into this golden looking beer with a nice white head. And for a 4.5% beer, that is cracking. Absolutely cracking. Hoppy, beautiful malts in there. I love hops, but I also love the malt. The, the malt in this beer is biscuity, it's bready, it's fresh. The hops are grapefruity, lemony, citrusy. Apricotty. It's like a tropical fruit juice crammed into a loaf of fresh bread. Brilliant. <laughs> now onto the can. Cans are coming a long way. They've come a long way in beer. They're light. They're disposable. They're recyclable. You cannot hurt anybody with it. I suppose you can with a, with a full can, but you'd want to drink the stuff first, wouldn't you? And then if you tried hurting somebody with, a, with an empty can, you're not going to get very far. But that's not the real reason. The real reason is for me. Now, I've drunk a lot of canned American beer, and it always seems to be so punchy and so hoppy and grapefruity and everything else and it's because it's 100% sealed it's dark there's no light going to be getting into that can no light at all the cans are so light and the American beers are designed the designs on the labels are phenomenal 
Caldera's Pale Ale. Six point. Six, check out some six point beers. The Bengali Tiger in a can is phenomenal. This is very good. And look at the design. Look what you can do with a can. This is the first British craft beer, hoppy craft beer, I've tried in a can. And it's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Adnams are not silly. They're not silly people. I've never seen an Adnams beer in clear glass. There we have their ghost ship. There we have their Southwall Bitter, which my wife will be reviewing shortly. And it's all in nice dark glass. Why am I talking about different glass? As I said, Adnams seem to be on the cusp of everything new, everything exciting in craft brewing. They don't put their beer in clear glass because it's going to skunk. It's going to get skunky and it's going to be horrible and nobody's going to buy it. That's well worth trying. That is well worth trying. I probably talked long enough about canned beer. I can't talk anymore. You can just have to go and try it for yourself. But one more thing, one more thing, and I'll be very quick with this. Bottling. If there's any, if that cap hadn't been put on, even the slightest. You're going to get air in the beer, it's going to ruin. Again, a can is 100% sealed. Let's talk about the beer, shall we? It's a cracking beer. That is, for me, one of the best pale ales in the UK. Not just because it's hoppy, amazingly hoppy, with all these American hops. Um, there's a lot of this in um, <laughs> in foreign in a foreign language. So I, I know it's American hops. I can taste it. Maybe a bit of Centennial or something, or some Cascade. But, I was talking earlier about the, the, the flavour of the beer and why it's one of the best pale ales in the UK is because of the malt. The malt is phenomenal. It's so kind of bready and biscuity. And mixed, you can taste the water with it as well. Mixed with the water, the breadiness, the hoppiness. And it being four point. 5% ABV You could just take four five or six of these to a party Whack them in the fridge Not too cold, but uh, Drink them and not fall over and you got all that taste Phenomenal. I've banged on about this long enough now. Let me give you a rating. First of all, a website. I think it's adnams.co.uk. Check out adnams.co.uk. Thanks, guys, at Adnams. Nice clear beer. Golden, hoppy, malty. Brilliant. Rating. I love this in a can. Absolutely love it. And I think. I think more of it should be done. I know it costs more to can a beer. I know it do. But 
I think a lot more breweries should be looking to do this kind of thing. I think it's a fantastic beer. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. I'm sure you'll want to comment on this. Subscribe if you like and cheers.